love welcome back to inspire me emily to the 812 of you you are so loved you are so unconditionally loved and i appreciate each and every single one of you if you are new to my channel because you just stumble upon it as you were scrolling youtube well thank you for being here and if you enjoy this this video maybe consider subscribing all right let's dive right into the video uh, there's something that's on my heart that I have been wanting to talk uh, for a long time. And I feel like today is the day. So uh, it's, there's no way to put it. But I am here to bring awareness. And so if you are in that position where you are doing certain things that I'm going to share, I just want to let you know to please hold space for yourself and grace because we've all been there, including myself. So for example... You know this culture that we have where we see somebody and we say, oh my God, you lost weight. And then the person goes, yeah, I did. Guess what? I used to do this before because I associated my worth to the size that I was embodying in my body. Okay. So I, if I gained weight and I reached a certain size, then all of a sudden there was this conditioning programming from the matrix that if I'm a certain size, then I wasn't enough. I wasn't, I, I wasn't worthy of being who I was. So I, I, it comes to my attention. We are growing and evolving as a society and it, it is, it's super important for me to bring this. So if we are looking at people thinking that their body is all there are, like in my opinion, we, we are literally, we're missing the point because the truth of the truth is that you are not your body. You are a multi-dimensional divine being and your body your meat suit is your vessel to host your soul and whether you weigh 400 pounds or a hundred pounds or a thousand pounds or 120 pounds or your size zero or your size 10 or a size 22 or a size 44 it doesn't matter what you are you are inherently worthy regardless of the size of your clothing or the weight on the scales. I want you to know that. I want you to share that with you because this is something that I literally was consumed m most of my life with this. Ever since I was a little girl, I was 12, I am just sharing transparently I hated my body because what was portrayed in the media, like I had, I had hips. So what was portrayed back when I was a little girl was the skinny model. And if you're skinny, there's no judgment. It's just that was, that is what was portrayed on television and in magazine. And that was celebrated. So as soon as I was 12 years old, I had been programmed by observing my entire childhood, the relationship with people, women and their body, specifically in their body and their sense of self-love and self-worth. So I, as soon as I could remember 12, I actually hated uh, my body. And that's kind of sad to say, but that is the truth. And I'm only interested in bringing about the truth here because I am here. I am here for truth. I'm here for transformation. So if you're here for truth and transformation, you're exactly where you need to be. So I hated my body and I struggled for many decades with that. And it's only in the past few years that I finally freed myself from the attachment that I have with my, my size and my sense of self-worth. I no longer, uh, I'm no longer attached to what it means to me to be a certain size or to weigh I actually don't even weigh myself anymore the only time you will find me weigh myself uh, is at the doctor and there's nothing wrong if you for yourself you like to weigh yourself every day or every week because that's how it makes you feel good there's nothing wrong I want you to know that there's nothing wrong or bad but what I feel we are at a point where we need to wake up is we need to stop having conversation about people 
and losing weight and valuing that. It can be very damaging. Like saying to someone, especially children, teenagers, uh, people that are very vulnerable at a different age, uh, telling them that they, uh, that they lost weight. Maybe, maybe, maybe we think that we're doing like we're actually celebrating them because that's the old conditioning that if you lose weight, then I celebrate you because then you're worthy and then you're enough. Uh, um, understanding that that it, that is not the case. Like celebrating someone for their weight loss can be very, very damaging. And I'm not to say, and it's not to say that if you do want to lose some weight because you are consciously aware of what it's causing to have that extra weight in your body and then you decide to consciously make a change and then you let go and then someone close to you or whatever generally notices your effort for your transformation i hope you can understand that is a different type of celebration what i'm trying to share is this it's not wrong to celebrate someone but we need to be careful how we are doing doing thing and what we put value into this weight loss culture it's time that we unplug for that it's time it's time that we reconnect to the truth of who we are and that truth is that we are divine being as we are enough it doesn't matter it doesn't matter right now the size that you are it doesn't matter if you have love handle or if you're like really skinny and then you can't put on some weight it doesn't matter you are enough you're enough as you are, and you can always strive to work into becoming more in alignment with your truth. So the truth for myself, I am going to the gym after uh, almost two years of not going to the gym because of, you know what, for the past two years, I've restarted March 1st. I've restarted going to the gym and lifting weights and then run, not running, today was running, but normally I power walk and then I do rowing and all that. And I am going right now. I'm going because I know it's good for my mental health. And I said to my body, if you would like to transform, if you would like to let go of things that don't serve you anymore, by all means. But I love you as you are, Emily. I have worked. I've worked for so long to finally get here. And if you are in that space right now where you're like, I don't love fully myself. I don't fully love and accept myself or my body. And I hope that I can do that. I'm here to cheer you on and let you know that it is possible. And it's also possible to transform. But what I'm really passionate about and the women and the men that I coach is that everything that I that I do now is is the inside and then the outside it's like reclaiming your inherent worth from the inside without thinking that you need to do something on the outside to prove that you are enough does that make sense so I'm here to just cheer you on wherever you are on your journey if you are a person who like who comments on a lot of people about their weight I'm inviting you I'm not I'm inviting you to consider what what are your intention in doing that and and if it's really in service for that person or not um there's so many things we are so much more than our bodies than this size of clothing that we wear or the weight on the scales we are so much more we are beautiful souls and we have gifts and we have talents and we have quality and we have character I feel like it's time to start really naming these things first and foremost before we start focusing on an external validation of the matrix. The truth is we are all beautiful. The truth is everybody's are beautiful and there is no right and there's no wrong with any type of bodies and shape and size everyone everyone is worthy as they are and as much as i love to see when we go to malls now they are representing different size i think that's great and the first time i saw that i was celebrating and i was crying because finally they are they're showing you know bodies that look like me and then it makes me feel normal so 
I'm, I just wanted to share that and, and please know that it, it is with my, my highest heart intention. Everything that I do on this channel is from my heart to yours for the highest good to inspire you, to help you lead yourself, to help you transform, to help your soul expand and grow. That is the intention. And so if you haven't been uh, subscribed yet, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Uh, maybe have a look over here or have a look over there. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for being there. I love you. Mwah! Thanks for watching. Bye.